Dealing with with models, mm. what challenges have you got? Well, um, you know, the nature of of we kids of Uganda or, or the mm. child from Uganda is, yeah. uh, I mean, first of all, we don't have exposure. Mm. You know, exposure to maybe the lifestyle we're supposed to live or exposure to maybe technology or yeah. exposure to you know with fashion you know yeah. you know so i get a challenge of you know transforming you know a girl from you know her state to the state i want her to be yeah. and me being a very busy photographer yeah, yeah, you know yeah. sometimes you know it's really hard for me you know like time you know you have to really to give a lot of time and yeah. you have to be there talk to to them you know you know explain to them yeah. you know tell her what to wear tell her what to do mm. so it's uh it's challenging but when day it's amazing you know so yeah. I mean, it's all about lifting someone you know yeah. you know yeah. when you lift up someone from that kind of state and then tomorrow they will be like that's the guy you know that's okay. So it's all about sometimes it's all about legacy, you know. You yeah. know how many people have you lifted up? Yeah. And uh, I've lifted lifted up a lot of models, like a lot, oh. a lot. I cannot count. And some like they're really doing great. Others mm. are fashion designers. Others travel. Then, you know, it's it's, it's amazing. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. Okay, that, that, that that's one of the reasons why I had to call myself Portrait Daddy because. Mm -hmm. The portraits were very <coughs> many and <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know so they were going viral and stuff like that so yeah. i've done a lot of portraits and uh most of the times I, I i keep my portraits african that's what yeah. makes me unique you know but it's, it's uh the journey is amazing you know i've been working with models since 2015 mm -hmm. and this is 2020 yeah, <laughs> yeah. and those are five years man yeah. and uh it's amazing you meet you know people from different you know regions Kamojongs, you know i've worked with sudanese i've worked with i think i've worked with most of african models god has blessed me that i have clients that have the vibe you know yeah. they're like into photography you know yeah. yeah so you find a client they have what they want to do they, mm. want, they have what they want to hear i mean to wear so mm. it's, the vibe is there and then the vibe you know, is there the yeah. vibe is yeah, so that's why I shoot the amazing images, you know. Have you got any challenges with uh, with uh, with uh, with location as a photographer? Yeah, yeah. Location is always a challenge yes. every month. Every month. <laughs> <laughs> location is a challenge, you know, because most of the times, like me personally, you know, I'm I'm always on the road, you know, I'm always on the road, I'm always shooting, I'm always on camera. Mm. If I'm not on camera, I'm on my PC editing. Yeah. So, so finding out location means you have to move around and you know ask for prices. Yeah. Of course, every location has to be charged. When it comes to YouTube, they wanted they wanted us to pay mm. annual annually. To yeah, to use YouTube, which is like eight thousand US, which is a, a ridiculous amount because we don't get it in. You in, don't even get it. It doesn't come back in return. So why do we pay for that when you don't even have cheap internet for us? I mean, Ugandans have the most expensive internet yeah, in East very, Africa. Yeah, so if I don't know, if I'm not mistaken, in Africa, in the whole of all of Africa, we have the most expensive. I mean. Because I was in Rwanda, they have cheap, and Tanzania has the cheapest. Even so, Kenya is cheap. Yeah, and that limits our views. It limits people who, from researching about our work, mm. it limits everything. It mm. limits our great greatness. Um, uh, there was a post today on Mbu, the Mbu page on on Instagram. They said uh, they po posted diamond platinum moving on the street it's mm. campaign time for them and people flocked the car and you couldn't see the road mm. or the front and the army just started to weep people and someone asked 
why don't you you gonna add this why do you think you gonna are not having this well i commented sarcastically just saying hey what makes you think our artists don't ask the fans we don't want to to we don't want cavio but we come on the concerts and mm. they laughed but mm. my actual thinking is mm. that was that was me playing when i commented but my actual thinking is if the internet was cheap enough we would reach them yeah we would reach that amount of people uh what what are the thing i was thinking i was thinking well if our value yeah was that high mm. we would reach that you know why our value is low um it's many reasons but one of the reasons is uh we are seen everywhere for example um an artist is the biggest artist mm. but they are on the streets or in a bar just to have a drink the reason you can't see chris brown in a bar it's not that they don't come into that bar mm. they come into that bar to feel like they are in that bar but they are in a specific cabin that is vip or even if it's not vip but it's separate from the ordinary people and they have every drink they want or they have every drink they want mm. at their house and they just invite a few people that they know mm. are not any harm to them they come and they have great time mm. they are those parties where someone has a card that this person can go to a chris brown's party house party any day any time it means there's value you've never seen chris brown what if you hear that he's just standing by the road people from busia will come to yeah. just see that person at zebra mm. and by the time they reach it will be yesterday you know why because there will be a lot of jam sure an example is george ware in the 90s came to uganda mm. and the airport was jammed until nambole until is it was it nambole or najibu but it was jammed and he got he missed his match he didn't play because he couldn't get to the field but the jam was because of him they wanted to see him george ware cuz george ware is the only african with the ballon d'or if i if i if i'm not mistaken no just imagine that popularity and this is a guy we have never we had never seen right now he's a president but we had never seen george ware so that's why the country went crazy this one person people have never seen they just hear of george ware waka waka in all the songs mm. the, Zai, the Co- congolese songs mm. the, they always sang about george ware so it would if there's an artist who can create if if the artist could create such amount of, of scarcity definitely they would attract the same crowd because i think diamond is not seen at all yeah, is not seen because that's the value we need the <laughs> bar owners to also value yeah, us yeah, yeah, by sure. making another vip but you pass like remember remember amnesia amnesia was really like kind of full all the time mm-hmm. every musician was in there mm-hmm. and for me it lo- we lost value mostly in amnesia club amnesia like every artist dead or alive had passed through amnesia if not to sing mm. to just pass through and go to the vip and the vip yes it was clo- closed but it had people can people but that that was better but they needed their own entrance and they needed their own entourage in the bar i mean artists should understand that your showing off is on tv it's not supposed to be in the clubs but they want to show off in club, in club. and that is wrong hey we saw we saw maro let the selfie be so priceless i mean so priced because they can't get they can't get it so it is so expensive that if you not you didn't pay for it but it's so special that that someone has it but 
I don't refuse people from taking uh, selfies with me because I built my brand in that way. Mm. Well, I think I think so far my journey in photography is good. I must say it's good, and uh, I love the fact that people have really engaged with me and. Uh, they've loved me you know i don't know i think it's god is blessing yeah. you know you know like so have that first always the most high. that first impression you know yeah. and and once i meet you you know yeah. you never let me go you understand yeah, yeah, so true, true, true. you know it's been yeah. great and in the covid times it's, it's been it was challenging at first but yeah. once they said the government said pop yeah, you, you know, I've been on the road, you know, yeah. So yeah, yeah, people, you know. Yeah, it was hard to get you. <laughs> I, remember, I remember when you, f you first uh, when you first heard about the show, you wanted to come on the show, and mm. you were like, ah, I, when am I next time? And you were out, and mm. Monday's like, you're resting there, and, we, you know, we shoot every Monday. Yeah, I was like, okay, but I think we'll get you. Yeah, so I have, I have big brands that I have to think for, like mm. mainly mm. Starbucks, you know. Yeah. So they have many pro uh, products. You know, they have the fuel yeah. car, they have the gas. Wow. So you have to really think hard and, mm. and do the fact that they, are, they have many branches. So yeah. you have to really, you know, handle each each yeah. branch. And then I have other lifestyle clients, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And don't let me sleep, you know. Yeah, you can't pictures, sleep. You know. Can't so sleep. So the journey, the journey is great, and uh, um, it's all about, I think, vibing with the people and, and being honest, you know, yeah, it's all about yeah, persistence exactly. and consistency, you know, mm. you know, today can you release good pictures and tomorrow can you do the same? The same, know? yeah. Can you do so yeah. that's the good thing about me, you know, all yeah. the time, you know, tomorrow, today, tomorrow, the other day, the other yeah. year, Since you know, it's all about yeah. classic images. <laughs> It's about classic, it's the classic images, and it's good. And I'm, I'm still really, uh, um, um, I'm moving forward. You know, I mean, it's all about being humble and sitting behind, and then looking at the industry. You know, it's yeah. it's, it's it's key to study the industry. Yeah. You know, yeah. I've I've seen kids they come there and they shine, and then tomorrow you don't see that. Yeah, I mean, it's everywhere in the creative industry. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah. It, Mm. There's, 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 there's that beauty in sitting behind and then yeah, you know watch examine and then you know fast watch it. See what do it I have to do? Like, yeah. Okay. There's what they call baby steps. So you have yeah. to do with that. You take those baby steps. You know. So yeah. it's it actually it's key. It's key mm -hmm. for every creative. You know. Don't rush. Mm. Sit back. Relax. Examine. Examine your, your 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 category, the category you're in, and then then start working. You mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. I have a dream of, of having a Hollywood. You know, a yeah. Hollywood in that's Uganda. A big one. That's yeah, a big but one. but that's a very great big step. You know, yeah. so you have to really relax and yeah, then relax you know, and, and yeah, move it takes, slowly. It takes, it takes a lot. It takes me to that's something that I was. I dream uh, of having an island where uh -huh. there's DJP series. You know, and yeah, we're going to DJP series. You know, uh -huh. so it's. It, it it takes a lot. It takes a lot. Being yeah. humble and then doing work, delivering Taking time, step you know, by step, yeah, yeah. step by step. You know, respecting the clients. You know, yeah. respecting the shilling. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. I, w I wanted to say, um, you know, when we are growing up, we want all these things. Yeah, sure. You want to drive your your dream car, uh -huh. but you are twenty, thirty. You want to drive a big dream car. You want to be like a person that you see. You're like, and we all sang about Wava Mono. We mm. had, had many songs about Wava mm. Mono mm. and all these guys, Molindwa and whatever. Mm. Like the Ivans. The Ivans. Mm. But we don't check on their age. <laughs> you get my point? <laughs> yeah. We don't check on their age. You mm. are there talking about and dreaming about what they have. You don't check how they have come to get that. And you ch don't check how old they were mm -hmm. since they made their and why at that age why did they make it at that age mm -hmm. but we just jump into a conclusion and then we start to think oh my god i've failed you made actually build your dream house at 30 or 31 or 32 but again you break it when you turn 45. Mm -hmm. when you turn 45 you're like now I have to add this room. You know, I didn't know I was going to have a fifth kid. Mm. Or oh, oh, I, I didn't know I was going to have uh, five uh, maids. Or oh, I didn't know I was going to, you know, some dreams become bigger every time we touch them. Yeah, sure. So, but moving slowly and slowly, it makes more sense. 
than Russia. Be our soda. Soda. You a soda person? Okay. Instagram or Twitter? Instagram. <laughs> okay, because yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, who would you rather see naked? Your mom or your grandma? No. <laughs> 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 Yo, this is one of the most famous questions in this show and yeah yeah okay it's a crazy question <laughs> it's a crazy okay marriage or just for just marriage oh you you love to marry you yeah. call me i'll yeah. be there i'll be there I'll yeah be you have I'll to sing there. the caustic music here yeah, okay yeah. money <laughs> oh six <laughs> money <laughs> <So>. <laughs> <laughs> well, you want money, you want money. Money. So, uh, okay, there's this yeah. segment, I mean, the same questions, but uh, it's called water questions, five water questions. Mm. Um, would you shower warm or cold? Cold. No, you shower cold. Mm. Okay. Um, Paris, what would you use your water for if I gave you utensils or laundry? Utensils. Soda or water? Water. Okay. You do you use shower gel or do you use on our face tablo? Shower gel. <laughs> <laughs> As a kid, uh, you listen to this song, right? Yeah. Okay. Tell me exactly how you think you used to sing it. That one. Oh, was love. Uh -huh. How did you sing it as a kid? What's love got to do? Got to do. I know you sang Jack to do, Jack to do. And and how did you sing uh, Patra's romantic call? Oh, how did it Romantic <laughs> How did you sing it as a kid? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> You know, there are songs that we used to sing. Yeah. Yeah. This one, once na got to do. That's how you sang it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> once na. Uh, uh, there's, there's also um. But a la 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 long, a la 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 long, a la 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 long, 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 long. And that was also a famous song. Did you did you sing the verses? No, no. Yeah, I put it. Bombis, she bombis da 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 da. Looking in your eyes. My lady, you have to be. I start to sing the verses. Yo, it was all about the chorus. As a kid, as the kid, there's a lot of lyrics is that lyrics that we we really messed up, and I I I love to. Try them. Mm. There's a. Uh, how, how about the fast car? The fast car. The fast car is the best. I I. Not the fast car is the best. No, no. The fast car is the best. This this one is fast car. Mm. The, then the other one is fast cut. Is the, the fast mm. cut is the deepest. That one was a bit. Yeah, yeah, a bit, a bit, a bit okay, a bit easy. Okay. Yeah. Which other song do you think you messed up in lyrics there as a kid? Because me, I think I have a. I know me tina me gino. That one. That one. Tina me gino. Ah, exactly. That says exactly. Oh, we used to say yes, sir. Kina Megino, want a nana, yes, sir. And then the security of Bobo. You just go, man. You just go as a kid. Oh, and there the was, there was um, Gotham City. I was like, I consider uh -huh. everybody city of justice. City of love. I consider. <laughs> I didn't know it was Gotham City. I yeah. laughed. I laughed when they told me it was Gotham. Is, like, okay. is that the same movie, Gotham? I think that's what they were trying to talk about. 
Geth- Gotham City. Yeah. Where's that city? It's not there. It's a fictional. It's a from fictional a comic. city. Yeah. Mm. So you watched the series Gotham? Yeah, I watched mm. Gotham, but I, some series I don't go on with them. I watch a bit, but I'm currently watching P Valley. P Valley. Yeah, with Morocco. It's Morocco. It oh, really? There. Yeah. I should watch that. Yeah, it's, it's nice. Morocco. It's really Talking cool. about Morocco, how is he? He's good. He's good. <laughs> he liked the photos that he did with you. Yeah, he did the pro- back. Yeah, we've, we've done two projects so far with Morocco. Mm-hmm. And it's amazing. Yeah, yeah I think he's coming back in December. Or in December. If all goes well, because yeah. you know how the world is right now. Yeah, yeah um, I'd love to say um, thank you for catching me on the show and thanks for making time. It's I know you're already some supposed to run somewhere, <laughs> yeah. and we have used about an hour and something of your time uh, sitting up and all, also jazzing. But I told you, it is mm. natural. It's so very natural. Sometimes it's it, it may take long or shorter, mm. depending on how much you vibe. But mm. every time we were talking about something, I've mm. been remembering that we've been actually together of for a long time. time yeah. And you've seen my place. You've come to my home. You've yeah, been in my like living room. So, yeah. Yeah, this is this is nice. Yeah, you've come around here f- like three times. Four yeah. Times, you know. yeah, yeah, and there's sometimes I've come when you're not here. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the so brotherhood has been great. It's, yeah. been it's always nice working with you know. You're some creative, you know. Ah, yeah. You're some creative, a creative. Thanks. I'd love to meet. You. Thank you, then, thank yeah. you. Yeah. I I think I just great. I just talk too much about what I think about what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's, you always have that's ideas it. popping. It now let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. Yeah. And another day, you know, yeah. the outcome is great. I think I think we always need we always need to, to, to express how we feel. Yeah sure. About someone's uh, idea or and also yeah. talk about our ideas maybe be corrected or something. So that's what that's what I also that's what I learned because yeah. I was quiet for a long time. Mm. And I realized it was wrong. So I was like, okay, right now if I can help someone, if I can advise someone, I do it. If I can tell someone my idea and mm. I trust them with my idea, I do it. All right, as for me, <laughs> I'm signing out by saying everyone on the camera, you are the baddest guys. And on the lighting, you are the baddest guys. On sound, I don't know, but you are also <laughs> perfect guys. <guest. laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, you can say bye to the people. Yeah, um, um, thank you, Mauro. You know, for for creating time to to you know come respect, to the DJP respect. studios and you respect. know feel at home. Back when they catch I. Zenjaga de Mazira. Yeah, it's it's always it's it's always great meeting a creative. You know, most of the time. Akata de keka. I know, I know, I know you. I know what you're going to say, but. Yeah. I want to ask, how where how do you s- screen yeah. the beautiful girls that I find at your reception? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just crediting you. Thank you, and <laughs> and she welcomed us very well. So, oh. so yeah, you can That's continue. God is mercy. Yeah. And uh, um, yeah, I was saying thanks. You know, um, thanks Welcome. to the team, my Media. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes it's always you. great meeting uh, creatives. You know, yeah. for me and Maro. Sign out. Yeah, man. <laughs>